Hi and welcome. The Techno Dinosaur meets the IT Geek, number 7474. My name is David Logan, the IT Geek, the guy who takes the jargon of technology for you and allow you Techno Dinosaurs to use technology before you speak to your grandkids, your nephews and nieces. Make it easy for you to news. With me today is Will and Nickel, normal suspect. I don't know where he's based. So, Will, how are you and where are you? Thank you, David. Yes, the normal suspects. I am Will and Nickel, the Take the Dinosaur. So named because I'm digitally challenged. However, I'm also a personal development life coach who helps people with this stuff in their lives. I'm based in Trun, a very sunny Trun today, in South Ayrshire, Scotland, UK. Good. You'll be pleased to know I'm based in Annan, the Friesen Galloway, South of Scotland, and it's red hot down here. I'll be putting the suntan lotion on shortly. So you help people with their stuff, Wally. I like a hand. Up till lately, I've been struggling with time management. I still struggle. I find some tasks don't get done. <clears throat> and I have some stuff that I schedule overruns. How can you help me? Or others like myself? I'll give you a few tips and hints, certainly. Um, time management is quite important to get your work done, or other activities for that matter. And you can go online and find any number of websites that talk about time management and any number of apps and so on to help you with your time management. But one thing to remember right from the start, time management is not necessarily about managing your time. It's about managing yourself. Having the discipline to make sure you utilize your time to the most effective manner. So I've done a bit of research to save you doing it and all the viewers out there, and I'll refer to my notes. We all have 24 hours a day. We all get 24 hours a day, but it's how we use it determines how effective that day is going to be. <coughs> Excuse me. So here are a few tips. Number one. Be intentional in your time management. Set your intentions in. Create a to-do list. We've talked about this before, David. A to-do list as opposed to a will-do list. However, for the sake of today, we'll call it a to-do list. This is one of the most powerful ways to be as productive as possible. If you keep your list of tasks in front of you, you're less likely to become distracted and you're more likely to focus on what's in front of you. If you get distracted, you look at your list and say, oh, I need to focus on that. And there's also that sense of achievement when you completed that task and you can cross it off your list. Another tip is to prioritize your workload, prioritize the tasks you have to do. After writing your to-do list, prioritize what needs done first or second or third. Once they're dealt with, you can move on, but don't ignore them. There is, and you can find this online, what we call the Eisenhower Matrix, which is based on the working practices of the former US President Dwight Eisenhower. And here's how it works. If you imagine drawing a square and then splitting it into four quadrants, it doesn't matter where each quadrant goes. But number one, identify the tasks which are important and urgent. These are the two sides of the coin, if, if you like. So something that's important and urgent means you have to do it, it's important, and it needs to be done now. So for example, if you've got a big briefing tomorrow, you have to refocus on that to make sure it gets done. Secondly, there may be tasks which are important but not urgent. You have a, a paper to write for a workshop in two weeks' time. It's important you do it, but it's not immediately urgent just now. So you can put that maybe number two in the list of priorities. There may be number three, tasks which are, appear urgent, but are not important. For example, replying to your emails or looking at these texts. This appears to be important, but is it urgent? If it's not urgent, it goes in that 
code, important but not urgent. Lastly, you have tasks that are not important, not urgent. So you ask yourself, do I need to do these anyway? And if you don't, you bend them. So that's the Eisenhower matrix, four different quadrants, and you allocate your task to each quadrant depending on whether it's important or urgent. Would, would you say that's almost like a, a form of prioritization? Prioritization during the, the, the four absolutely, quarters? Absolutely, yes. Prioritize your tasks, right? We talked to you in a previous vlog about you know eating that frog or how do you eat an elephant, right? Eating an elephant in small chunks. And the frog is that unpalatable task, but you know you've got to do it. So you've got to eat that frog, yeah? So prioritization is very important. Next, be focused. Avoid distractions. You know, there's that, the, the phone call there or the social media, or I maybe I'll just look at my emails, right? Despite our best intentions, we do get distracted. Arms to me, arms to you, arms to everyone. But what we suggest here is avoid as much as possible being distracted. Apparently, it takes 23 minutes to refocus on a task once you've been distracted. So if you have lots of distractions, you're not going to get a lot of work done productively. Identify the source of these contractions. Sorry, distractions. Are putting controls in place. So switch off the notifications on your phone. For that matter, switch off your phone. Switch off the telly because you don't want to be watching Netflix. And so on and so forth. Avoid distractions. Fourthly, they say, be structured. Have a structure. Block off your available time. Now, some people might get, and I'm prone to this, right, that hour there from 9 to 10, I'll be doing this, from 10 to 11, I'll be doing that, and so on and so forth. That turns a lot of people off. But you don't have to be quite that structured. You can be a bit looser. Block off that period of time and decide what you're going to do then. And have a break. Breaks are very important. Block off that period of time for whatever, and so on and so forth. You're more likely to get your tasks done if you have some sort of structure to it. Lastly, be self-aware. Track your time. We've all heard the phrase, I lost track of time. Yeah. So maybe one day or one morning or one afternoon when you've got your to-do list, start identifying what you're spending your time on. Track your time. And then you will find out what takes up most of your time, what takes up least of your time, what is productive, what's unproductive. And tracking your time can help you to be more effective and productive. So just to recap, to-do list, prioritize your to-do list using the Eisenhower matrix or any one of a thousand apps that are out there. Be focused, manage your distractions as much as possible. Be structured, block off your time into chunks. And finally, track your time and identify where you're wasting time that you shouldn't be. Now, time management is a bit dry, but we know that if you get it wrong, you don't get your work done. What does that lead to? Our old friends, stress, anxiety, procrastination, and so on. None of which are good. So just think about doing these time management techniques and you will end up minimizing your stress, anxiety, and procrastination, getting your work done, and feeling a lot better at the end of it. I hope that's been of some use. Fantastic, Wally. Great. Thanks for that summary. Brilliant at the end. To you, the viewer, if you've got any further questions to Wally, if you want him to tackle your stuff, drop a comment below or send us a private message. The normal stuff. Please share our videos. We want to go wide and far. Share to friends. Share to colleagues. Steps for the Techno Dinosaur Meets the IT Geek. I'll borrow it now. We'll have a great week, everybody. One piece of advice I'll give you. Do not do anything I wouldn't do. Thank you. David, David, thank you for that. Yes. Um, always remember, people, right, we're here to help. So till next time, stay safe, stay well, and remember, have some fun. Bye for now.